Hi everyone, it's Nancy the nurse practitioner. As you know, we're in the middle of COVID, so excuse our masks, but I made some <laughs> bling masks for you tonight. I'm over here in Easter Seals in Mer Meriden, right? Mm -hmm. Meriden, Meriden, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And I'm here with Rachel Corbett. She's an occupational therapist. And I met Rachel on another video, which you guys have to see. She works with people who have low vision and who have to adapt their cars so that they can continue to drive mm -hmm. and be independent. And it's very cool what she does. But there's so much more to occupational therapists. Mm -hmm. So tell us all about you. What do you do? And <laughs> what is an occupational therapist? And what kind of uh, credentials do you need to get or, or training? Gotcha. So I am an occupational therapist. I do not find jobs for people. That's what everybody thinks. Oh, They're, interesting. Because of the name, it's kind of funny. I've walked into so many, you know, hospital rooms when I was working inpatient, and I would say, hi, I would my never name's Rachel, that. I'm an occupational therapist. And they go, well, I already have a job. <laughs> That's interesting. I never well, thought of that. That's huh. not what I'm here for. Yeah. Um, so I went to Sacred Heart University and I got a bachelor's in psychology. Mm -hmm. And then I got my master's in occupational therapy. So I did two years of um, grad school for my master's. So and having psych and, and OT that's huge. is actually yes. huge. And I actually, didn't even think OT of that. began in psych. That's where OT came from in the first place. Oh, So the two really do go hand in hand. Mm. Um, and it definitely goes hand in hand with um, working with the driver program as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So that's what you do. We're over here in Easter Seals, which yeah. is, uh, tell us more about Easter Seals. Let's give them a nice yeah. toot. <laughs> So <laughs> Easter Seals is a, a not-for-profit organization, mm -hmm. and this uh, setting here is our medical rehab facility. So mm -hmm. we have physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. Mm -hmm. um, we also have audiology services available here, mm -hmm. um, and audiology is also in Southbury and Waterbury, I believe. Um, this, you must yeah. be busy. This it, must be... It's a busy place. It's definitely a busy place. Okay. Um, and through COVID, you saw a lot of people. Nothing changed much. You guys, yeah, no, we shut down for a need, little bit. But... Yeah, just a little distancing and whatnot. Yeah. But just they had to... Exactly. So we're practicing the, the cool. social distancing. We're wearing our gloves, wearing our masks. We have face shields as well um, if we need to be in close contact um, mm -hmm. with people. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're following all of the COVID precautions. Mm -hmm. We have our cleaners literally all over the building. <laughs> So I'm really glad that you guys continued because mm -hmm. a lot of places did shut down and a yeah. lot of people, I've heard a lot more people are more demented, they yes. are yes. falling more, mm -hmm. um, they are not getting the, the exercise they needed. And yep. the main reason for this video today, everyone, is that we're going to learn about different equi equipment mm -hmm. or DME, yep. which is durable medical equipment, that uh, can be used based on different body parts that have problems. Right so that you could be as independent as possible with ADLs, right? Mm -hmm. Activities yep. of daily living. Mm -hmm. Tell them more about that. Yeah, so I mean, your activities of daily living is really, you know, the, the meat of OT, right? So, you know, everyone every day has to be able to get up and take a shower and take care of their oral care and get dressed and, you Button know, then- your shirt. Right, find your whatever. shirt, put on your socks, put on your pants, um, you know, things yeah. that a lot of us take for granted, you know, that we could do it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of people that have things happen to them, be that something neurological or orthopedic, mm -hmm. um, you know, or maybe it's an endurance issue where, you know, they just don't have that capacity to be able to bend over to be able so to So somebody put their on pants oxygen on. who exactly. has low. Okay, so how do you, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk about them as well and yep, part of yep. all this equipment. Yep, absolutely. So where do you want to start? So let's start with some of the ADL equipment here. So we can talk about, let's talk about the dressing stick. So okay, that, that so, long stick right there. <laughs> okay, so let's show people. And you know, a lot of this, how do people get this equipment or can we tell them in the end once they know that, mm -hmm. hey, I could use that? Yep. We can tell them where they can get this? Yeah, or... I mean, you could buy it at a store that sells DME or durable medical equipment or okay. you could just put it like on Amazon, um, put in dressing stick. Dressing and I'm stick. sure it would pop up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to give these things mm -hmm. names, everybody, so yeah. you know what it is. This is a dressing stick. <laughs> okay. And this dressing stick is kind of cool because it also has um, a thing for a zipper, too. Or shirt. Yeah, so if you undo, uh, go ahead and undo that button. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. And then you would put this through the hole. Oh, I see. If I can direct it. There. Okay. And then you grab the button. Can they the, see this? And Whoa. You and you can 
So they would be buttons. here, and I would be the person doing that myself. And right, then, yeah, so you would be able to hold it. And but you could stand in the mirror, Yeah. and you would see yourself You opposite. could easily direct it. So Why that is it so it, long? I don't know. This one, this one is abnormally long. <laughs> I think I put a hole in my wall. But what's the hook on the other end for? So this hook is really neat. This, this is, is like when they take the... you off the stage after they said, uh, you know, <laughs> You're get, done. get off the stage. <laughs> so this one you can use to actually take shoes off. Okay. okay, show me. So you could take it and you could hook it in your shoe. Yeah, well, these aren't going to yeah, work. Yeah, I know. I have boots on, too. Um, okay. But if you... So it would push the shoe down. So you, kinda, <laughs> you can do it It pushed the shoe down. Oh, that's why it's long. Yeah. Because if you have your short arms... Yeah. If, you, if you lost it. That's really, really neat. Okay, so that's why it's long. Yeah, this one, though, is abnormally long. They're normally not this long. Okay, this but, one's from, but like, that makes sense. I don't know how many years ago. Um, so yeah. can you buy them separate where you just get the, the this part? Normally, you would buy a button hook separately. Okay, so this would be shorter. Yeah, so, so this would be this. shorter. And usually, I mean, the more modern mm -hmm. dressing sticks, at least, have, like, a, you know, a hook on both ends. And, and there's this one for pulling it off and this one for putting it on? I mean, yeah, I... so you can, I would use this end to push down on things. Push. And then this, you know, the, the hook here you could use for pants. Mm -hmm. So if you took your pants, you could um, lower them down and then stick your foot in oh, and then very, hook it to very, grab very, the pants very up. Cool. So you could use it for underwear. You could also use it for pants. Okay, good to know. Yeah. And what's that called again? A dressing stick. Okay, everybody, dressing stick. <laughs> okay, good. Next. Next. Um, I don't have a sock aid, but there is something called a sock aid mm -hmm. that actually I've had patients use a magazine for also. If you take a magazine and you roll it, mm -hmm. you could pull your sock onto it mm -hmm. to then throw it on the floor and stick your foot in it. And then you could use the dressing stick to hold on to the magazine. Okay. So you could just slip it through your sock on. And what's that called? A sock aid. Sock aid, everybody. Yeah. So just so you know, I'm going to be doing video down the road on um, how to put on um, Ted Ted stockings. Oh, those are tricky. You can't do that with a sock aid. No, but but <laughs> I but I have this device a patient had, and it had a little. It was a little circle like a, a bracelet. Oh. With wheels. Cool. And it wheels over the oh, um, that is sock. Really neat. And then and then you had this tube. And you put the sock on the tube because you can't do it down there. Right, right. And then you put it on and it wheels this thing up and then you pull the thing off. Oh, and that's so cool. Her son, when the patient died, the son gave it to me and it's sitting home in my bunch of stuff. Was that something stuff. that somebody made or no. like he purchased that? No. I, one part, so everybody, I have a book called Caregiver huh. Success and there's so many cool things that people had in the homes yeah. that that they got adaptable and they mm -hmm. tried to find their way because they had to. Right, right. They were you fine. know, and so some people had some gizmos that were so cool and the families gave them to me after their parents died so I can use them for my videos. Oh, that's so cool. And my book and I, I'll show it to you yeah, next time. Yeah, I would like to see that. But actually. it is really cool and watch for that video, everyone. Okay. Nice. So sock aid. Sock aid. All right. So um, let's go over the long-handled shoehorn. Okay, we saw this baby already. Yeah, it's a double, double one. Stick. So there's the long-handled shoe shoehorn. Oh, it's behind you. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I love so those. This is a shoehorn to help you get your shoe on. So I'm gonna put my shoe back on. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So yeah. So see how this works, everybody. You don't have to bend all the way over. Exactly. It works from like your waist, and then you can get your your shoe on see? right from there. Shoe is back on. That's so so great. And look, it has a. Does it have a hole in it so you can hang it somewhere? How, um, where do you where do you so, put this stuff so it all is in like in a basket, like I an mean, umbrella could, basket? You could, yeah. Like a big umbrella basket in the morning, yeah. and you could you know take everything out as you, you get dressed. You definitely want to keep it you know where, where, you where it's it. nearby. Yeah, um, wherever like you the use reacher, it. you know, I would always recommend that, that my patients buy multiple reachers mm -hmm. because um, they're so handy. Yeah. So reacher grabber, you have your. Um, Thing here and you can just so if you throw that on the floor to so say you drop something of course they won't see that but you can see everybody you can <laughs> you grab can pick it up <laughs> can you pick a can you take a can off the shelf or is it um, too if it slippery? was not a heavy can yeah. you probably could but i would be careful with that yeah because it could yeah. fall and break your toe yeah so don't do that anybody but you can use this for the laundry so for those people that have the top loading um washing machines right where you know they can't get down into the bottom of the washing machine oh, to get the things exactly, out exactly to take them out you could take the reacher and you could reach down into the washing machine to grab what you need to grab 
okay, let me say that's in the other part of the house or another part of like yeah. downstairs. You yeah. might want to have some of these mm -hmm. things upstairs and downstairs, right? right? More right. than one. Like I would tell people, okay, keep. If you mm -hmm. can't bend down and get in the back, you're still going to need to reach it. Exactly. Okay, so that's really cool. Also useful in a vehicle. So oh. if you are a driver mm -hmm. and something falls over mm -hmm. and you can't pick it up, right? This is a kind of nice tool to have to be able to grab, you know, something off the floor. Okay. If you're unable to get down there yourself. So, or, you know, yeah. your purse, you know, whatever. Yeah, and you can't reach and you over can't and get reach it and you're it alone. And grab it and you're by yourself, then, okay. you know, that can be helpful. Very cool. So, what's this called? That is a reacher. A reach this, this is a leg lifter. Okay, okay. Leg, leg lifter. So, for people that, um, you know, maybe just had a hip replacement or, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe they have MS and they have decreased uh, strength in their legs. Mm -hmm. or muscular dystrophy, for whatever reason they have, you know, decreased strength. If you are getting into bed, okay, mm -hmm. and you're having difficulty lifting up your leg, you can oh, take this. this. is cool. This is a brand new one. So, um, so it has to be, yeah, up. it has to get a little looser. Yeah, we gotta so it's wired. Yeah, it's wired. Um, yeah, so you might want to loop it a little bit to work. Right. Cool. So you can then kind of grab your leg okay. to be able to pick it up. So I hope you guys it. can see all that. The foot goes in the loop yep. and you're holding the other end and, and the loop the is on end. your arm like like you're actually walking your dog or yeah, something. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of like a dog leash. <laughs> it's a dog. It's like a dog leash. Only you have it's invisible like a dog dogs. For, There's no dog. Yeah, like it's, you're just, walking it's, for it. your, it's for your legs. <laughs> this is also really useful uh, getting in and out of a vehicle also. Uh -huh. So if someone is having difficulty with, you know, getting themselves they can sit down, right, to right. get in the car, yeah. but they can't get their legs inside the car. Oh, yeah. This can be very helpful with that. So my so, mother-in-law was very short, mm -hmm. four seven. Yeah. I almost That's wanted to. Me. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> she had really a bad osteoporosis, and every okay. year she was shrinking. I'll and, get there eventually. And she, I wanted to get her like a step stool, mm -hmm. like a little, and then or something to fold into the car. I think right. we talked about that in the last video, but. Mm -hmm. But she also had to pick up her legs because she right. was so small, mm -hmm. she couldn't get over the cushions. Yes. So she, it wasn't because she was tricky. weak, it was just that they were so short and right. there was, she was like in a high chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this would have been kind of cool for her because yeah, she was really very, struggling. Very useful. Okay. This so, in combination with, they also make, it's called like a, a 360 cushion. You can get it on Amazon and it's like a swivel cushion. So Does it sit on the chair of the yeah, car? Yeah, you can put it in the car, you could put it anywhere oh. really how does this swivel though um it just it just swivels it's like a like a fabric but it's, okay. it's easily oh so it almost moves. has like maybe um parachute material something to slip yeah. swishy? so it's very easy like to swishy. you know to slippery move. yeah it's, it's slippery so okay. if someone's having trouble cool. with turning you know That's as really, far as getting really it out of a cool. car or just transfers at home i mean it really doesn't matter um, yeah. then that can be really helpful too. That's really neat. Yeah. What's this called again? This is a leg lifter. This is called a leg lifter, everybody. Okay, just think about walking the invisible dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. But I can see this is very, very neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't get it all. <laughs> All right, so what, el what else would you like to show everyone? All right, let's talk about uh, the long-handled sponge. The long-handled sponge. Yes. Cool. So, for those people that, again, have difficulty with bending down oh. or um, maybe they have hip precautions and not supposed to bend down, yeah. um, this was always part of what we called the hip kit <laughs> in okay. an patient, which mm -hmm. consisted of the reacher, the socket, the shoehorn, long-handled sponge. Cool. So um, I know a lot of therapists, I used to do this myself, I would dip this in the hydroculator, um, like uh, where we keep hot packs for, okay. um, you know, for heat, so you could bend the sponge, oh. um, the handle, yes. so that you can get easier like down your back. Okay, so per person where it needs to be bent, right. you exactly. made it just so it's I would good adjust for them. It, yeah, for them. Okay. Um, but I mean, you can find like uh, long-handled loofahs and things like that. Yes, you like, can now. Amazon, so. And they also make them a little more rounded They do, now, they do, so yeah. I mean, these were like fuller. what came in the hip kit. So these So can you replace were... these or do you have to get the whole no, gizmo? No, I mean, this is just like a... I know. It's a, it's know, a cheap like this sponge. This is a cheap one. Um, but if you go to a store or you go on Amazon, I mean, you can easily find a long handled curved, you know, loofah. You can even put stuff over that loofahs. You could. You can yeah. put things over it, you know, those, exactly. and just make it your own. Right. But that's very, very cool. But it's very useful. Helps yes. people get to places that, you know. It's like the back scratcher. Pretty much. You know, yeah, that of. we all use. Right. Right. Because we all can't get back there. <laughs> True middle story. of the back. <laughs> True story. Okay, so that's neat. Yeah. Okay. 
What else would you like to show us? All right. Um, let's talk about the blue uh, foam there. Okay. okay. So for people that have arthritis mm -hmm. or maybe they just have limited hand function, they don't have a lot of grip strength, mm -hmm. um, you can put built up handles on things. Okay. So this one um, is has a larger diameter on the top. Mm -hmm. um, so for this one, you'd be putting something that had like a thicker handle on here. Um, this tubing comes in different colors. The different colors are different diameters. Got it. So um, if you hand me the spoon, mm -hmm. so this one's yellow and mm -hmm. you see how this was put on the spoon. Mm -hmm. So now we have a thicker handle for gripping. Right. So it makes it easier for someone that, you know, doesn't have that fine motor to yes. be able to grip something. Okay. So um, you could put it on spoons, forks, knives, toothbrushes. Oh, so this gets cut. Yeah, you cut it. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. gets cut to mm -hmm. all the utensils. Yeah. And so you, you take can it actually purchase the tubing. Got yeah. it. And then the tubing usually comes with all the different colors with different diameters. I see. So yeah. so one hand, well, usually, you know, some people eat with both hands because right. you cut with your exactly. knife. So you might need that yeah. for one hand. So you could just cut it and then put, you know, one mm -hmm. on one mm -hmm. side, one for the other side. And if your if your abilities change, you just get a different diameter and you keep exactly. eating yourself. Exactly. The other trick that I like cool. is duct tape. Okay. I mean, duct tape is just great. Um, or masking tape. Um, I would take masking tape and just keep wrapping it around things until it was a diameter that worked for people. Oh, okay. Which is that a, works too. Which is a cheap fix. That's but, a cheap fix. But then you could wash it in the machine and stuff. Can you uh, see? Well, that's what gets kind of weird. It as well. So I would do yeah. that with. Um, uh, like pencils, things don't get pens, wet. yeah, things, that things don't like get that. Wet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah. then these you have to take off. When yeah, you these wash. you would take off when you when you wash. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. stick them back. And on. then stick it back on. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah, but it's definitely helpful for a lot okay. of people. Okay. Okay. Good. Right. What about? So let's do the weighted utensil. It's right there. The fork. The fork. Yeah. Okay. So this is a weighted utensil. So for people that have tremors. So if someone has uh, Parkinson's mm. or, you know, they have a tremor for whatever reason. Yeah, they're trying to get that pea or the, or exactly. the, the, the green bean. They're chasing things around the plate. Oh, wow. Well, because okay. of the tremor, the yeah. weight can actually help to calm the tremors down. That's so great. Does a plate have a lip on it? Also, too, I was just going to say, that? yeah. So they, um, they actually sell something called a plate guard, mm -hmm. which you can attach to the side of a plate so okay. that you then have something to scoop up against. Ah. There's also bowls, like special bowls that are deeper and have for scooping. And they so don't that you tip, can make, right? Yeah. They have a bigger base exactly. so that they don't. Okay, very, yeah. very cool. Where and do then, you get all this stuff? Uh, again, I mean, Amazon this is all... really, or, you know, you probably could get it from a, a DME store too. DME store, everybody. Mm -hmm. they're, they're everywhere. Yeah. Um, and you really want to check one out in your area and mm -hmm. kind of like shop around. Yep. Like, Go in there and walk around and look at items and yep. let the owner show you what kind of equipment they have because you would never know, like, you know, what is this right. unless you <laughs> ask the owner who sells them. He says, oh, well, this is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. So you may never know. You might need this, but you didn't know what it was. Right. Exactly. Very, very neat. And, okay. you know, if someone does have a tremor, too, wearing a weight on their wrist can also be helpful. Uh-huh. Not heavy weight. <laughs> like a little, like, like little, a wrist, little like sandbags? Like a wrist weight, yes. Very can sometimes be helpful what a in helping idea. to decrease those tremors also. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, how do they get this fork? Because it's a, is it called a... It's weighted. You would, you would, it's called a weighted Yeah, it's fork. called a weighted um, built-up handle. Do they come fork. in more than one weight, like a different weight? Um, no, I'm not sure. Yeah. I think they're all pretty standard, but okay. I could be wrong. I don't, okay. I don't know. Um, but they're definitely them. helpful for, you know, for quite a few people. Mm -hmm. um, another tip is to use covered cups. So if you have, you mm -hmm. know, tremors or, you know, coordination issues or ataxia, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, if you What's ataxia? Tell everybody. So ataxia is where you don't have that, that muscle coordination and control. So when you go to move, you know, your arm might kind of do some crazy things that mm -hmm. you're not necessarily telling it to do, mm -hmm. but it's it's going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the weight actually might help a little bit with that, doing some weight bearing too. Okay. Very, so, very neat. I've never seen that. And I never yeah. saw any of my patients using that. I used them a lot in like field nursing facilities. I know they wouldn't mm -hmm. use a fork. They would use a spoon because mm -hmm. it was more successful. Right. Or and a they fork. even a fork. Yes, yeah. Fork a is, spoon yeah. and a fork. That's... <laughs> The spoon is curved, but there's points on it, like a fork in the middle. Right. And then they had bibs that had the lip. 
Yeah. So yes. that the pee that you thought you got in your mouth went into the thing right, and it was in here. all over the floor. Which was very neat. Yeah. I mean, it's to get the job done. No, it is. You want it to is. eat and you yeah. want to do it by yep. yourself. Yeah. You know, and, and keep your dignity. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Okay. What else would you like to show everybody? Um, let's talk about the, uh, the pill um, pill boxes. boxes. Okay. So, you know, if someone is on a lot of medication, it's very important that they're organized as far as, you know, when they're supposed to be taking their meds, what time of day they're supposed to be taking their meds. Um, so pill boxes like this that separate, you know, the day of the week as far, and also oh, so see, like, like morning, afternoon, night, so that people know, you know, when they're supposed to be taking things. And how do these also, open? I mean, they're, this one, how do you open this? Ooh. Yep, just okay, like that. Okay, just yep. push the little lip down. Yeah, you just gotta kind of pull snap it. it. And, yeah, pull it and snap it. Okay. And then. And each day you would do, okay, there's noon. Right. Yeah, this is nice if you have a four times a day medication. Yeah, if you if you're on a lot of medications, that's that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, this one I also like too. This I just like has that one too. All the days of the week. The mm -hmm. days of the oh, sorry. The, day, the days of the week are nice and big, um, mm -hmm. so it just makes it easier, you know, to see what you're taking. So you could even do like, like your nighttime pills could be in the other room, right? Exactly. And have them separated. And this if is you have a clear box, because a lot of these are sold clear, not colored. Uh huh. Um, if you take construction paper like yellow because it pops like something that is in contrast to the pills that you're taking yeah and you cut up little squares you can put them inside um here so that this way you don't miss a pill uh. i've had a lot of patients that are like oh well i thought i took them all but uh. <laughs> i'm finding them on the floor or you know wherever else because they're not getting them all out yeah so if there is, you know, a piece of paper in here that's in contrast to the pills, then you'll see if you missed one. Okay. So like purple. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like unless you're on next to Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's really cool. Contrast. <laughs> All right. And what about, oh, okay. Should we do this real quick? Yeah. So this one's kind of ancient, but um, if you <laughs> So show us how it works. Oh, you don't want to use it. I really don't okay. want to use this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let me get, let me have a general idea. Like you yeah, would hold it. Yeah, so you would it, hold it, and you would, and then you would, you know, you would comb. Okay, because so you can't get, you can't do this. Exactly. You can't get back there. You don't so have you that can range of motion this. to be able to. This is wonderful. Yeah. My father-in-law couldn't comb his hair, and you know, you know, it would have been nice to be able to comb his hair, but mm -hmm. he didn't have any way of doing it. And you right, know, even right. washing your hair mm -hmm. or washing your head, yes. if you can't comb your hair, you can't wash your That's head. That's true. That's very true. So you could even use that sponge and put some shampoo you in. You could just to dump he it on He was bald, there but and... he had hair. Right, and, you know, you right. still want to wash that. You still want to wash your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wash your mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good, good point. Yeah. Well, you could have a whole so repertoire of this stuff. So if your sponge was then you could get your head a little better too. Like a straight sponge probably will catch a good So what's this called? Um, you know, I just found that in the closet. I'm going to call it a long-handled comb. Or, okay, and look, you can actually... You can adjust the height, it looks like. You can even... A little bit. Oh, yeah, and take it out and replace it or, or something. Right. yeah. That's so very cool. Maybe this thing had other attachments. I don't I don't know. That, that See, that would be I neat. I bet you it did. If you had what the, got the handle and then you have all these little things, like, yeah. you know, put my toothbrush on it. I don't know. <laughs> cool. Okay. So as far as toothbrushing, yes. um, a lot of people have, you know, difficulty holding on to it. So, yeah. you know, using an electric toothbrush has a thicker yeah. you know, base. Yeah, and it, and it moves. Yeah. So you just have to hold exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, or you could put one of the tubings onto the toothbrush also to hold it. Um, and then for the toothpaste, I know a lot of my low vision patients sometimes have difficulty getting the toothpaste like onto the toothbrush. On that little tiny circle. Yeah. yeah maybe. So I'll just tell them to put it in their mouth. Oh, good idea. Because why yeah. not? It's going there anyway. <laughs> yeah, put it in your mouth, then put the toothbrush in. Exactly. Makes yeah. total sense. Mm -hmm. You Simple. know, the thing about this, everyone, is you, people want to be as independent as they can. Mm -hmm. You know, and if there's a lot of times my patients, I would see the, the family member doing everything for mm -hmm. them. And, and then some of them would say, Mom, brush your hair. Or, Mom, let me see you pull your pants up. And mm -hmm. it was really good because it was part of exercise. Right. And it was part right. of their daily routine. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. did it together. And um, really important to let people do what they can do. Well, it, it's good it. for their mobility. Yes, it's exactly. good for so many things, yeah. you know? It's, it's maintaining functional independence. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So moving on, we've got a few so, more things, everybody. We're going to talk about the bathroom a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, wow, I've never seen this. I know Drive is a really cool the, company yeah. that has lots of equipment. This is a raised toilet seat. So okay. rather than have a commode, right? So your commode is, you know, you can either put over the toilet or... Right. 
you can have, you know, the bucket in it and put it next to a bed or wherever someone is, you know, sitting well, or sleeping. Right. I know the three in one where right, you have the two right. handles. You take the bucket out yep. and you push it over. Exactly. But then they have handles. So mm -hmm. how is this better than so this just so one, you can see this, everybody? If you have a bathroom that is on the smaller side, because mm -hmm. I, you know, I've been in plenty of homes where the commode was not fitting over the toilet, it was just too big. Mm -hmm. So the raised toilet seat literally just sits. You put up the top of the toilet mm -hmm. and then you just pop it in. Oh, cool. And you can buy these with handles also. This particular one doesn't have handles, but you can okay. purchase it with handles. Neat. So it raises it up to a height where it makes it easier to stand up. Mm -hmm. And then you're, you know. So what's this go. mean? What is this? There's, um, a, this is, there's a crank like here. What is that I for? I think you can just to tighten it. Oh, tighten the, it on the seat. Yeah, to tighten oh, it on that's the all seat. it is. Yeah. Loosen it, tighten mm -hmm. it. Yep. That's really neat. And these are not something that you give to your friends. You know, once you use them for a right. few years yeah, and they're, they're not, hard plastic, yeah. they, they kind of get icky mm -hmm. and you want to just yeah, throw just, them away. Yeah, you definitely yeah. don't want to keep that, that's but, for sure. <laughs> but this is really, really nice and um, it's actually a nice plastic. So mm -hmm. it looks like it wouldn't hurt you at all. Yeah, no, no, they're uh, they're definitely very useful in the bathroom. Okay, so and and uh, this you can get from a DME oh, company yeah, definitely. again. You can get that from same a kind company. of thing. Yep, same okay. kind of thing. Yep. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we're going to talk about So we'll talk a little, about a little bit of um, equipment that people might use for walking. Okay. Uh, this here is a rollator walker. So it has four wheels and gives you a nice turning radius, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, for those people that have endurance issues where they can't walk for long periods of time, or maybe they have pain and that's why they can't walk for long periods of time, mm -hmm. um, this is a really nice walker because it allows you to be able to lock it turn around and sit. That's so lovely. Take a break, which is awesome. And they come with uh, bags. You can they put like little, bags little baskets. You can, yeah, you can put baskets flowers on them. Can hook onto it. Put plastic um, flowers on it. The top usually <laughs> flips up and you can put, you know, oh, your that's really belongings neat. in here. That's I have even plenty better. of clients that come, you know, with, they'll throw their car keys and whatever yeah, else in there. Yeah, it's just, their, it's convenient. Their gloves. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't lose anything. So there's brakes. Yeah, so there's the brakes. brakes. So you always have to make sure you lock the brakes before you sit. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and then and when then you want to go again, you just you unlock the brake. Yeah. So and that's called a rollator. This is called a rollator. Yep. Another drive product. Okay. Yeah. But other companies make them as well. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can get them in different colors. So you yep. could be really fashionable. I mean, you can deck it out. You can you know? really. I've seen people make their own inventions that they stick on there. So, you know. So let's talk about the cane next because, you know, I do have a lot of patients who are making or buying canes mm -hmm. with different things to match their outfits. Yep. Okay. And I thought that was so cool. <laughs> and I did a radio <laughs> show recently, and the guy said, what are you going to do in the in the future, Nancy? I said, well, I hope when I, if God lets me hang around, yeah. maybe I'll be in my 80s, but I'll have the sexy, cool cane you if will. I need one. You can one. design a lot of things. You yeah. can have a lot of fun <laughs> with the stuff you have to use. It becomes your new best friend. Right, that's true. That's you true. Know? You can't look at it as, you know, being yeah. an inconvenience. Yeah, it gets you, know, you, you going and you don't kinda, fall. They leave it by the wayside. And <laughs> It took a while for my mother-in-law to give in, but uh -huh. once she did it, there were canes everywhere. Oh, I believe it. I believe One, it. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. more than we thought, but but at least she used it. But at it. least she was using it. She was using it. a lot of people it. don't use it, and then they fall. Exactly. Yeah, or they do, like, the furniture walking, you know, yeah. where they're holding on the walls. They had, to reach it, they had to reach that conclusion themselves and then yeah, realize. Yeah, they do. And then they say, oh, okay, maybe yeah, I should use it. Yeah, I think it. I should be using it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not a PT, but. Yeah. If you buy a cane and you need to adjust it, mm -hmm. if you just rest your arm at your side, you know, it should technically be around the height of like where your wrist lies. Okay. So, and that helps people. And there's little buttons on the side just yeah. so at least you know it's not too short. You shouldn't be leaning over right. it. Like this is this is too high for me. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> and, and another point while we're at it is it go you walk up the steps with the good and down with the bad. Up with the good, down with the bad, yeah. So that's something for everyone mm -hmm. to remember. Good if go you get heaven, a sprain in the leg. Bad go you nowhere. Sorry? <laughs> the good go to heaven, the bad go you nowhere. Oh, that's what we oh I, I don't like that one. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so want to do the rolling walker? Sure. So this one is a rolling walker. Mm -hmm. um, so it's got the two wheels, and then typically you'll see tennis balls. Yeah, let's show them the wheels a little. Oh, okay. So just go back a little. Just go back a little so oh. they can see the wheels. Oh, go, go back. Just okay. roll back. I gotcha. All right. Yeah, so you roll can see back. the whole thing. Okay. Um, yeah, so the rolling walker, you've got two wheels, and then Can't usually the back, them. you have um, tennis balls back more. Yeah, just a little okay. bit more, just so they can see that, that the wheels, how they look and how they, they wheel. Okay, okay good. 
Because people put tennis balls yeah, on a regular walker? Yeah, you put tennis balls um, on the, the back of the two-wheel walker so it glides easier okay. in their homes usually. Um, okay. It makes it easier. I see. And if those little tips on the bottom get worn out otherwise, you should really replace those, yep. right? Yeah. Which can be got bought in any of those DME stores, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. So that's a rolling walker. That's who would be walker. who would be using that? And again, that has to be adjusted based on height, everybody. Correct, correct. Must be uh, adjusted based on height. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people use it after they've had a knee replacement, hip replacement. If they have balance issues mm. where, you know, they just kind of need something to hold on to just to steady themselves, mm -hmm. um, especially if they're walking on like an uneven surface versus like, you know, an even surface. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely helpful for a lot of people. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And and you can also progress from a rolling walker to a cane. Correct. As you're rehabilitating mm -hmm. and you get more strength and yep. your your physical therapist will tell you that. Oh yeah, your PT will take care of all these devices and PT would be the one to also recommend what device would be the most appropriate right. um, for you as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Wonderful. And then this here is a quad cane. Mm -hmm. So they call it a quad cane because it's got the four prongs. And people have a um, trouble with that one. They don't know which direction to use it's it. It's a little clunky. Um, you know, this is for people that uh, maybe had a stroke and they only have the use of one side of their body. So their balance is, you know, a little bit off. This particular cane just provides a little bit more support um, when they go to walk. Mm -hmm. So not everyone loves this, but it does work for certain populations. So the, 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 the two prongs that need to be exactly on the same side together that's the side that's close to the body, not the ones that look like their claws going out. Right, right. Just because people turn that around and I have to stop people in the street oh and tell them, that you're using that wrong. But <laughs> I'm like, I, I hate to be, uh, <laughs> I can't help but help. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, just want to make sure people know that and mm -hmm. you use it on the good side. Yes. And the, the, the side that's paralyzed mm -hmm. or, or weak, mm -hmm. the whole body that's the good side is leaning on that device right. so that mm -hmm. the bad side can walk along with you. Exactly. Okay. So exactly. You, you can see that. So it just provides some nice support. Um, okay. Yeah. For someone like that. The here. Okay. <laughs> so everyone, this was wonderful that we got to Back see all this equipment here. Um, um, I'm Nancy, the nurse practitioner. I'm so glad you joined us today. If you like these videos, please join us on, on uh, Caregiver Success on YouTube. I also have a book out. I didn't bring it with me. It's called Caregiver Success. A lot of this equipment that I've run into in homes is in there. And I think it, the, the beauty of the YouTube is that it allows you to see the items and have someone talk you through it, which is different than reading in a book. So everybody has their way of learning. Just want to make sure you know about that. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And take care and uh, see you at the next video. Bye-bye.